Hey guys, welcome back to our Search API series. In this last video, we are going to have a look into how we can handle the search results selection. Now, here is how the app will look like after this video. When we search for something inside our Developers Academy app, like music playlist, view a music playlist, we, search, we select that one, it will take us immediately into the course that we were looking for. So that is what we want to do in this video. If you haven't found the starter project from the last video, pause this one and go back and watch the last one because there's no point go watching this one, doing the demo in this one without knowing the last two ones because they built on top of each other. Okay, so I hope that you go back if you haven't watched this one, go back there, do this one. Okay, so let's do this. I will go back into the uh, project right here and we will not look at the cost search anymore because this cost search is complete because we have all the things that we need we have the user activity we have uh, attributes set all of those things so what we want to do here is we want to tell the um, cost detail table view controller that we want to update the user info of the search of the um, activity, user activity. So below the view did load here, I will call a method called update user activity state. Okay, update user activity state. And that thing, first I will call the activity, which is a activity inside the class, right? And then we'll have dot add user info entries from dictionary and the dictionary here is cause dot um, user activity user info now this one is particularly important why is that because if we don't override this function then the user activity of the um, of the cause activity it will be nil then we will have no way to search for to have that piece of the information okay let me explain a little bit further now in the cost search in the cost search we create a user activity user info right we have that as the title of the search it's like the key for the cost uh, user activity right so that we can check which one is the title of the what is the title of this cost so if we don't override this method here we will not have that information in the app delegate which is step number two the last step all right so in the app delegate we are going to override or not override we'll implement a function called application continue user activity and restoration handler why is that mouthful well that method is a, a method from app delegate it allows us, it will get caught when the user clicks onto the search result or select the search result, okay? So that is continue user activity, like that, this one, okay? So application continue user activity restoration handler. So this one, I will use the guard syntax, guard, user activity dot activity typed if this is is the cost dot domain identifier so if this user activity is the domain identifier which is this one goes back into call search which is this one search api the cost the user is searching for the cost then we'll handle that okay later on if you have multiple other things like if you have um let's say a photo album and the, you want the user to search for that album or you want the user to search for a specific photo then you have two things two different things then you have search for that that is the power of this okay it's not limit you to just one search all right next we have the title is user activity dot user info question mark because it can be nil and subscript title okay and this user info is exactly the user info that we pass into this update user activity states for the user info entries from dictionary 
makes sense, right? Now it makes sense. I hope it does. And then we cast it as a string because it indeed is a string. Otherwise, we will just return false. It means that this function will return false. We don't want to handle the search result, uh, selection because we don't know what the heck the user is searching for or selecting. Okay. All right. Next. The next job is when we have the title of the cause. It means that we know which cause the user is searching for is wanting to go into. Okay. Then our job is to construct the UI, construct the view hierarchy so that the user is taken into exactly that place into the view controller of the course. I will do it like this. Now, I know that this step, it will be a little bit confusing. Okay, I will explain that each step by one for you. It's just the matter of the design of the app. Okay, so let me go into the main storyboard here for you and I will explain it a little bit for you. Okay. <clears throat> It was very, very straightforward. So first one, from the window of the app delegates, we can have this tab bar controller, right? So from the tab bar controller, it has a property called view controllers. View controllers is a bunch of view controllers embedded onto the tab bar controller, which is these four navigation controllers, okay? Then I want to just have the first one, the first navigation controller so that we can construct the courses table view controller and also the course detail view controller. It is the course detail table view controller is what we are looking for to construct. Makes sense, right? So now let's have that goes back into the app delegate here and here we go. Just wait a little bit. My Xcode, uh, it crash, not crash. Just wait a little bit. Okay. Here we go. I will have if let tab bar controller is equals not UI tab bar controller, but tab bar controller equals to window, which is this property over here. The window of the whole app window dot root view controller which is our UI tab bar controller, right? As question marks, tab bar controller. Next, we will have comma like this. Okay. Next, we'll have navigation controller equals to tab bar, tab bar controller dot view controllers. Okay. And we'll cast it. First, we will have that the first view controller inside that array of view controllers. And I know it is a UI navigation controller. Cast it like that. Okay. Next, comma, we have courses TVC, courses tail view controller equals to navigation controller dot view controllers. View controllers. Okay, because the view, the navigation controller has a property called view controllers on south. So view controller question mark dot first, again, the courses table view controller, we cast it as a courses table view controller, right? And then the last one, we will have the course, okay? the cost that we are looking for to construct the cost detail table view controller. So the cost here I will use courses TVC, which is this one dot cost, uh, no selected cost with title, which is the title. Okay. This title over here. All right. And done. Okay, everything seems to be okay. All right, I think that we have an error over here. Delete that, view controllers. Yeah, we don't have that. Makes sense, right? Okay, let me show you this courses table view control. Oh, you know what? You can do it like this also so that it may be clear more clearly for you. Okay, I will expand like this. 
okay? Now, I want to show you the selected course with title. So select that one. And this is just an extension, a method inside the courses table view controller. It has a title. We have to provide it a title. Then we look for the course inside that table view. Just a simple for loop or double for loop, nested for loop, okay? That's it. It's just that simple. So next, we will have to make the navigation controller to pop back to the root view controller because who knows what, when the user just using the app, maybe is still in some level of navigation, right? So we can do nav controller dot um, pop to root view controllers animated is Fox. Okay, we want the experience to be immediately, not like some animation. Next, we'll have it let the courses course detail TVC is courses TVC dot storyboard. Okay, question mark dot instantiate view controller with identifier. So from the storyboard of the courses table view controller, we can construct the course detail table view controller with the identifier of course detail table view controller, which is the identifier for our course detail table view controller. So let's make sure that it is the case. Go back into the main storyboard, select this course detail table view controller goes into the attribute inspector and over here in the identity inspector this identity the uh, storyboard id it should be course detail table view controller to make sure that i just copy paste that and then paste it back here just to make sure that we have that correctly okay and then we cast it down as a course detail table view controller I know this has been long, but I hope that you have fun at this, okay? Now, the thing is that I really love about this stuff is, as I, the first time I do this, I learn a lot more about other things in view controller, constructing the view controller in storyboard, okay? So I hope that you enjoy this so much. Next, we have to specify the cost for this cost detail TVC. Cost detail TVC, that cost is this cost, the cost over here. Right. The last one is we want to make sure that this navigation controller it will be stacked. It will push this course detail table view controller on top of that, so that the user can see the course detail table view controller nav controller dot push view controller. So push view controller here is course detail TVC and animated is true. I'm sorry, let's put it false. Like that. Then we are good to go. Now, if everything is okay, if everything on the uh, condition statements, on our casting, constructing navigation, tab bar, courses, TVC, and the cost is okay, and we can push that cost detail table view controller on top of the navigation controller, then now we can return true to tell the system that we will handle this um, search result selection with race, okay? So that is that. The last one is just return phones out of this uh, if else let a statement. Okay, makes sense. I hope that it makes sense. So now let's run the project to see our final result. Here we go. It says view succeededly, not succeeded. Wait for it, uh, just a little bit. Here we go. Now, just in case that the system remembers our last searches, so I will do something like optionals. Okay? I know that I haven't clicked onto this optional. Click onto the optionals goes back here, scroll down so that we make sure that it doesn't appear on the screen. Goes back in the home screen. Oh, you can do that using the command shift and H, okay? Or you can go to hardware and home screen like that. Okay, scroll down and optional. 
here we go optionals in squiff clicks on that and boom we have the cause info for the optionals in squiff cause how cool is that hey if you don't if you think this is too much of the work think again think again now you don't have to do anything with the system code it's it's built in for you it, you can do crazy stuff with the iOS operating system that's crazy and with just like maybe 100 lines of code it's just very trivial code no no more uh, a lot of new framework to learn just the NS user activity I hope that you enjoyed this as always just post your question right down below thumb up the video and subscribe I hope that you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one as always go out every single day of your life learn new things craft your ideas and contribute to the world I see you